Today we're at the Digital Civics Exchange. Uh, so we have, over the last 10 days, we've had students from international spaces. So from Indiana, Purdue, Lisbon, Segan, Italy as well, Genoa, um, come all the way down to Newcastle to do some digital design sprints and to attend workshops. And today was the big showcase event of the student presentations. So over 100 students have been able to participate in this study abroad in Newcastle where they get to learn about digital civics. But this time it's been a lot broader thanks to a lot of the work that Kyle and his team has been doing to broaden our study abroad to make it more of this uh, digital civics exchange program. So that's super cool. We're going to be hearing from seven teams today. Each of the teams had a local sponsor. The sponsor was either a PhD student from Northumbria or from Newcastle University, or a couple of the teams were working with local community organizations directly or the Gateshead City Council directly. Uh, and so they've been working for a week and a half to add some design work to some ongoing projects that are real projects. Hello everyone, we are the Young Refugee Crew and today we will be presenting you the solution for the same. We're the Small Scale uh, Sustainable Agriculture Group. Uh, I'm Logan and these are my teammates uh, Tanmai and Danielle. Hi guys, we are the Misinformation Team. Hello everybody, we are the Power Wheelchair Public Charging Group. On the first day, so on the 20th, we got all the project proposals for the students. So each group of students had a different project um, and they came in and introduced themselves and what they were going to work on for the week. And then we had an impact workshop from Lucy. I think it's been really important. A lot of them didn't know very much about digital civics at the start of the two weeks. And speaking to them today, I think it's really broadened their horizons on all the different things that they could possibly go into. And I think the projects in particular have been really Really great and um, they've all done such different stuff it was really great to hear all the different design methods and tools they've been using this um, over these past two weeks that they spoke about today and um, you know they've been working with stakeholders which uh, a lot of them are undergrad students they've not done that before so that was really good for them and being able to go out in the community and do good work and important work is always really nice with this design, we are trying to ask the farmers to reflect on their relationship with technology, particularly about the mistrust that they have with using technologies of comfort or what they would probably classify as unnecessary technology on the farm. Um, we thought of adding like two buttons to identify and also cross um, like validate with uh, the pressure data. Um, this can also be done by monitoring their ca uh, heart rate using like cardiac sensors or pairing with a smartwatch. What we want to start doing is introduce guests to puppetry as an art form before they go on the trail, like through the Newcastle Arts Museum. This picture is actually taken by Matt of a puppet display in there. So it kind of sort of gets people to kind of sort of get like first exposed to the art and sort of like see like, oh, okay, this is what puppetry is like before they go and learn more about it on the trail. But if you actually need that charge to move around at all, well, you're out of luck because there's no such thing as a public wheelchair charger in this city. This both surprised us and honestly enraged us a bit. The ways that I bring my expertise to this event, specifically the Digital Civics Exchange, is I think twofold. One way is this area of concentration, right? Working with marginalized communities and groups. The other way is about how do we approach doing that work in a way that centers ethics, social justice, equity and diversity and inclusion, and how do we not impose one way of designing technologies that comes often from a very consumerist Silicon Valley approach, but actually to ones that actually vibe with the communities that we're working with. It's a great opportunity for our students. They get a lot out of coming and working with the experts that are here, um, so we know that you know, this is a center of, of expertise in the world for digital civics and, and now for, you know, citizen-centered AI. And so our students get to come over here and it's not only fun and exciting for them to go to a new place, uh, but they get to work with experts on real projects that are impacting the local communities. So in looking at the opportunity to bring people together at these events, I think one of the things that always strikes me is how much we all truly learn from each other through this process. I come in, you know, having taught many of these concepts in the classroom, many of these students I've taught as well, but I think having them in this different space and place gives us a unique opportunity to recognize how much we actually don't know and how much we need each other to really be successful in future work. 
students take something away from it. I think sponsors take something away from it as well. And it has sparked, I think, a number of different project pivots over the years in recognizing some complexity that's really useful to uncover. If you had to pick one thing or to recommend for them to investigate further, what would that thing be and why? So who would you foresee being the party that makes the decision on what is the misinformation and what isn't in this, you know, geographical surveillance rather than a device you own? Well, how do you imagine uh, the sponsors for your project might get some feedback from additional people about some of these concepts? I hope the students that have taken part can continue to collaborate and continue to work together and really have made bonds that they continue throughout the rest of their careers. I hope that they come back to see us in Newcastle and see it as a really enjoyable event that they attended and hopefully they come back next year.